Fans of the late Hank Garland attended the screening of Crazy, a film about the great guitarist's life, during the opening night of the Jacksonville Film Festival. One attendee even knew him personally. When I was about eight or nine years old, uh, my mother and father, just by pure luck, moved in next door to Amy, Billy, and Hank Garland. Um, uh, from that time, uh, my mother and Amy became really close friends, and uh, Amy was kind of like a, a pseudo babysitter, <laughs> if you if you will, at, at that time. And uh, and so when I was eight or nine, I didn't I didn't really understand you know what Hank had accomplished with his life and the musical career and all. But uh, as I got older, I realized you know he had he had played with Elvis, Roy Orbison, Patsy Cline, and and I I I have a love for music and uh, that's what I do in my life. So uh, so I, I I picked up the guitar. He started showing me things slowly. Um, and then around 16, 17 years old, uh, he started showing me a little bit, you know, more things. As I got older, he would, he would get things, you know, more in-depth things. You know, I think Hank really thought more of himself as almost like a, a saxophone player, the way he played uh, guitar lines. He, he was a very, very progressive uh, guitar player. He didn't play sort of linear guitar lines. He, he played uh, uh, music that, that really breathed. Uh, the same way a saxophone player or a jazz musician plays. You know, we would sit and we'd spend many evenings just watching television, eating dinner, normal things. Um, but, you know, the difference is I could ask him to tell me stories about Elvis. I could ask him to tell me stories about Patsy Cline and Eddie Arnold and, I mean, just millions of people that, it, you know, that he somehow had a huge impact on their life. And uh, getting the chance to sit down with him and, and, and talk those stories out gave me a starting point. To, to build my own music career. Mr. Payne, the yes. star of the show. Arr. Thank you so much for coming to Jacksonville. Thank you so much for having me in Jacksonville. Tell me, I read an interview that you had done that you said this was a role that you wanted to play. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, I read the script, and um, sometimes I guess things just come to you. And uh, Ali Larder and I just fell in love with the with the whole story and the whole aspect and it, it was just kind of cool I, I like I like stories about Nashville because it's my heritage um, I like acting it was my first stab at it and I have to say Ali Larder not a bad choice for your first leading lady I didn't have anything to do with it but I'm glad that they did <laughs> it's awesome it's awesome Rick Bieber on location on the red carpet here at opening night of Jacksonville Film Festival. He's the director, writer, and what are all your hats? Producer. And producer of Crazy. Tell me, why did you embrace this so much to have all of those roles? I, uh, I had nothing else to do. Come on now. And, uh, you know, no one would hire me to do anything else. Come on now. Um, I know this is a labor of love, so come yeah, on, give it up. You know, I've produced a lot of films, but Crazy is the first produced film that I wrote and directed. And, uh, and it's a very personal film for me um, and for the Garland family who has lived in Jacksonville for almost 50 years. Well, I can understand the Garland family, but yeah. explain to us why it's so personal to you. Well, um, number one, I grew up uh, playing guitar my whole life. Um, secondly, I love true stories. I think they resonate much more than, um, than fi fictional stories. And this was just um, really a unique story about uh, an iconic figure who came out of Nashville in the 50s and um, and had a very tragic, you know, demise to his career, but left this incredible legacy of music. And uh, a very interesting relationship, a provocative relationship with his wife, uh, well played by Ali Larder. Um, Waylon Payne is, you know, a great and gifted young actor. Um, it was just a, a unique opportunity to, you know, to tell this very interesting music-driven um, story. Now tell us, this: the, the story as I understand it is that he passed away at some point from meeting you and the, and the uh, movie being done. Did he get to see the end result? What is the story behind that? Uh, he passed away two weeks before we started shooting the film. Um, and he was very frail, and he knew he did not really have that much longer. Um, and often said that he would just see it from above and was quite content with that. But, uh, but he was very involved in the development. He knew all about it. He was excited, and, uh, and his family is here on his behalf. For more on the film festival, visit filmfestival.jacksonville.com. For Jacksonville.com, I'm C.J. Forrest.